Welcome back everyone. On deck today we're going to go ahead and clean and lubricate the Caracal pistol. We're going to do it according to the manual and this should work for both the C and the F model. Without further ado, let's get into it. Before we get into the cleaning I'm going to go ahead and show you the tools that we're going to be using here. First up we have just an old cheap toothbrush. We have some uh, polymer dental picks, just one here. This is a, a tipped in polymer dental pick. You can get them pretty much at any of the big gun retailers, Brownells, uh, Amazon, any of those things. We have a pipe cleaner. If you don't have a pipe cleaner, we'll show you how to do it anyway. Uh, rod, a little polymer rod. This one here is from a Glock pistol, but Caracol does include one with theirs. It's basically the exact same thing. I just grabbed this one when I was in the parts kit, uh, or the cleaning bin, I should say. We have some old cut up pieces of t shirt, a uh, bottle of CLP. Uh, CLP is a uh, cleaning lubricant protectant for those of you guys new to the guns, gun world. Um, this is brake free. And uh, just some gun oil here that we're going to use at the end. Um, any sort of uh, cleaning product really is going to work for this. Um, if you want to use a brake free CLP, if you want to use frog lube, you can check out my video on that, on how to do that. If you want to use uh, Slip 2000, uh, there's a million others. Pretty much all of them work really well. Hops Elite. If you want to use any of those, roll with it. Um, really, the only ones I don't recommend are going to be REM oil. And a lot, of, you know, a lot of guys like to clean up WD-40, I do not recommend that. So pretty much stay away from those, and you'll probably be good to go. So first thing we're going to do is drop the mag. We do not have a mag in here. I'll lock the slide to the rear. Go ahead and inspect that chamber, make sure there's nothing in there. There isn't. We're going to go ahead and release that slide home. Point in the safe direction. Pull the trigger. I'm going to pull back about an eighth of an inch on the slide. And this tab here is also on this side of the pistol. You're going to pull down on both of those tabs. Release. Sorry about the helicopter going over over uh, above guys. You're going to release it, pull your slide off, go ahead and take your recoil spring out, put that off to the side, go ahead and pull up in your barrel, that will cause it to come out as well, and uh, set that off. This is your field strip pistol. Taking it down any more than this is really unnecessary. In the manual it says until you get to 10,000 rounds, so uh, you got a long way to go for most of you guys before we get to the point that we need to break it down any further than this. So I'm going to go ahead and set the frame off of the slide here for a second, and we'll just start working here on the slide. We're going to take our CLP, I have it in a spray bottle. If you don't have it, that's fine. You can just put it on there um, in the spaces I'm going to show. But on a spray bottle, I like to just kind of put a little bit right in here, this area, and then down here on, this, on the slide. And one thing you want to take note of is that I'm angling the slide muzzle down. That's intentional. And the reason you do that is that you don't want to angle it like this because if you have solvents, they can get in that firing pin channel there and get in there and uh, gunk it up. You want to keep that free of uh, solvents or lubricants. So. Basically, once you have it right there, you're just going to go ahead and brush it around. Make sure it works into all the little nooks and crannies of the pistol. And uh, let it start working. The CLP will break carbon down uh, over time, so you want to just let it sit in there. What I'm going to do now is take the toothbrush and work it up in that breech face. Again, with it pointed down so that way the solvent doesn't all get in there. You want to focus on getting underneath that extractor hook. So, leave it in there. We're going to set that off to the side and let that CLP do, it, do its magic. Do the same thing here on the barrel. So spray a little bit on there, work it around. This one here is not all that dirty. I think the last time I fired it, I just fired 50 rounds through it, so you're good. You're just gonna do the same thing, kind of work it around here, all around the barrel. And all I do here is just, there's already CLP or oil on there, and just kind of work it around. In the manual for this pistol, actually, it literally does not call for cleaning the, uh, cleaning the recoil rod at all, so. I, mean, I do it. I don't think it's necessary per se, but sorry about the air conditioning turning on in the background, guys. We're just living out here in a residential neighborhood. It's what we got to work with. So next up, we're going to run a patch through the barrel and then take that CLP, spray a little bit on there, and uh, start it through the barrel. Now, if you want to use gun patches, that's just fine. Like I said, I'm using old t-shirts. I find they work just fine. We're just going to push it through. You generally want to work uh, bore to muzzle, just the same direction as the barrel pa passes. We're going to go ahead and leave that in there and let that CLP keep doing its job. Set those pieces off to the side. And uh, up next, we're going to work on the frame. Now, we'll take it in here. And basically, the parts that we're going to spray a little bit of CLP on is going to be right in here, up near the, where the trigger is, just above that, as well as back here in the trigger housing. So, spray there, spray there. And we're going to do the same thing. Just work it around in there, get that lubricant in there. The benefit of using CLP on these kind of polymer, polymer frame striker fired guns is just that uh, it, it does kind of everything. So as you'll see here in a minute, we're going to go ahead and just kind of wipe this up and it leaves behind a nice thin residue of uh, lubricant and protectant. So there's that. Set that off to the side and we're going to work on the slide, the barrel, and the, uh, the recoil rod. So just going to keep 
take the, the spring here, the recoil spring I should say, and just wipe down the outside of it. You can see that there, there is some carbon buildup on there. It's not too bad, but that's it for that for the uh, recoil spring. Set that off to the side. You're just gonna wipe down the outside of the uh, barrel. One good thing about Caracal pistols is that they have that uh, nitrided finish, which is hardened in that Plazox finish over it, I should say, Plazox finish. That Plazox finish kind of just wipes free, which is really nice. It's kind of almost like a Teflon fearing material for those of you guys that aren't familiar with the guns. So I'm gonna wipe all the edges out there, make sure you get right on the sides, and make sure you get on the feed ramp. Um, we're gonna run this through the barrel again, and uh, push it through. And for the sake of video purposes here, I'm just going to push it through one more time and I'm going to leave it and say it's clean. But for those of you guys at home doing this, just basically how clean you want to get it is really kind of up to you. But basically what I do is I just get it uh, until the patch comes out clean when you're wiping it through. But just for video editing, if you guys need, I'm going to leave it off the side. But if you guys want to go ahead and keep doing that until it comes out clean, feel free to do so. So we'll call that clean for now. And now what you're going to do here is take a patch. And we're just going to take our polymer uh, dental picks that I talked about earlier, again with the slide facing down, muzzle in down I should say. We're just going to work in the rails there. And you'll find that, uh, especially on these kind of polymer frame guns, so if you have a Glock, an M&P, you'll probably find the same thing. Those rails there are going to be kind of dirty. That's where carbon likes to hang out and chill. So I'm just going to kind of work it in there, get anything out of there. I take my finger and just wipe out the... Uh, underneath part of the front of the slide. And again here with the uh, breech face, what we're gonna do is holding it down, just wipe up on it. And as you can see there, there is a good, good bit of carbon on there. Now if you have pipe cleaners, you can do is wipe right underneath the hook of that extractor. But let's pretend you don't have those. So we're gonna take the uh, polymer cleaning rod. If you don't have one of these, any sort of uh, soft uh, flat object you can put in there. I've cut coat hangers before and squeezed it with pliers to flatten them out and that will work just fine. Um, and you can just work it right underneath that extractor hook and keep wiping until it comes out clean. And now the Caracal pistol here with the uh, firing pin safety the way it is, you, you just kind of want to work in the uh, in the grooves there as best you can. You don't really need to get totally down in there and start scraping. Just kind of push in there and pick up any sort of residual carbon that you can. We're just going to work it around and get it basically as clean as pretty much anything you can can uh, get to. You just want to clean that up, wipe it down, and uh, keep going until your patch or shirt or what have you is clean. So just keep doing that until it comes out clean. For the sake of video editing again, we're going to go ahead and call that clean. In all reality, guys, if, even if you just did what I'm doing here with both the barrel and the slide, your guns will be relatively clean. So set that off to the side. Time to work on the frame. Ooh, sorry about the lawnmower going in the background, guys. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I think it uh, just keeps piling on out here with noises. But I apologize for that. I can't control my neighbors. But basically, we're going to do the exact same thing to the frame that we just did in the slide. Just go ahead and wipe all that stuff up, all that CLP, and get down on the rails. Same reason as on the slide. Those places do tend to be a little bit dirty, as you can see right there. So he's going to keep working in those rails. Get up front here on the dust cover. Any kind of metal piece you see there that does have some of that CLP on there, you just kind of want to wipe it off. And just, if you're using uh, CLP instead of solvent, you know, that CLP is going to stay on there. You're not really going to be able to wipe it all off. And that's, that's a good thing because that CLP is going to continue to break down carbon as you store the gun and uh, keep doing that until you get to your next uh, range session. So it's not a bad thing. You don't have to get it all off. Just kind of get as much as you can. And believe me, your gun will be fine. I shoot a good bit. I pretty much use this method to clean all of my polymer framed uh, handguns, and I've never had an issue with that residual CLP staying on there. So, but if you're using solvent, obviously it's going to dry up, so you're not going to see that. So, I'm just going to work it in there as much as we can. And again, guys, you're just going to keep going until you can get that as clean as you can, and your your patch comes out clean. As you can see here, this one still is relatively clean. So the Caracal does, is designed to work in pretty uh, cruddy environments. So I'm sure being just this clean, it will consider itself clean and will run just fine. So we're going to leave that as it is. But again, if you want to keep going, feel free to do so. It is absolutely not wrong to do so. Right now we're going to get into the lubrication portion of the video. So we'll set the slide aside for now. 
go ahead and take our uh, slide, barrel, and uh, recoil spring. Now if you take a look here at where Caracal actually says they need lubrications, it mentions that they want it on the side of the rail in the owner's manual a little bit down here as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and just put a drop right there and a drop on the rails. And one thing about these oiler bottles, these are Brown Ales oiler bottles, for those of you guys that are wondering, they're very nice because they can get right into uh, the spot that you actually need lubrication. So uh, Caracal Manual calls, calls for a slight layer of lubrication on all metal surfaces. So I'm going to put a little bit out there on the barrel and where it locks up right here in the slide. As you can see there, there are some wear marks already developing. This pistol is the relatively new one, the, the recalled version that I got of my Caracal F. And also, I put a slight drop right there because with any sort of, uh, with this sort of locking lug, that is the part that's going to interact with the metal in your frame. And go ahead and put the uh, recoil spring back in. Just for those of you guys who are new to these, the, uh, this side is the part that goes right here on your lug. This side is the part that goes in the front of your slide. So there you go. And uh, all I do, although I put a little bit of lubrication in the uh, rails right here, I put a little bit on the rail on the frame as well. Just to make sure it's on there. Put it on the rail. You can put it the whole length of the rail. If you guys want to use grease, feel free to do that. And now what we're going to do here is we're going to ride our slide up with the rails on the frame. So basically I'm just going to insert them right in there and you can see how they ride up. Go ahead, lock it to the rear. You don't need you don't need to actually lock it to the rear, but you can if you want to. It's kind of a foolproof way. Let the slide go forward and uh, point in safe direction just as a functions check and you're good to go. Reset that slide and your gun is uh, cleaned and lubricated. As always guys, if you have any questions about this uh, cleaning this pistol, if you have any questions about any of the other how-to videos or reviews I do here on the channel, you can feel free to post in the, in the uh, comment section below. You can also uh, post over at my Facebook page right here on the bottom of your screen. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I truly appreciate it, guys. And I hope this video helps some of you guys out, and I hope I see you in the next video.